Shipmates, it's the 30th of March, 2020. Mick Pond Smith and I wanted to provide you and your families an update on COVID-19. During this extraordinary time, what remains constant are our top three priorities, taking care of you and your families, being mission ready, and supporting the whole of government effort. This past week, we've seen a rise in numbers who have tested positive for the coronavirus throughout the fleet. We continue to take this threat very seriously and are working aggressively to keep sailors healthy as well as to prevent further spread of the virus. We have to think, act, and operate differently right now to both protect sailors and to remain mission ready. This is not business as usual. That is why many commanders have implemented a 14-day fast cruise for units preparing to get underway, which will conduct important training evolutions, exercises, or deployments. Additionally, we have implemented a 14-day restricted movement policy for new recruits at RTC, and the entire RTC staff will also remain on base for up to 90 days to minimize potential spread of the virus. We are also supporting the whole of government approach in many ways. USNS Mercy arrived in Los Angeles last Friday, and USNS Comfort arrived in New York City this morning. We also deployed two expeditionary medical teams, one to Dallas, Texas, and the other to New Orleans. 2,200 Navy medical professionals are on board these ships, which will serve as referral hospitals for non-COVID-19 patients. Another 1,000 medical personnel are awaiting orders to be deployed. In this fight, our Navy medical team is on the front line, fighting to care and treat the American people. Other sailors from our reserve and engineering communities may join the coronavirus fight soon. You all have our thanks and our gratitude. People are the lifeblood of the Navy, and we are counting on every sailor to take this outbreak seriously. While we recognize some new COVID-19 policies place a burden on you and your families, these actions must be taken to ensure your safety and also to maintain mission readiness. To the families and loved ones at home, thank you for your support and understanding. This is a hard time and we could not do this without you. I'll end with this. As military professionals, we prepare daily to deal with adversity, uncertainty, and conflict. Our sailors and their families are resilient. We know you will set an example for your friends, for your neighbors, and in your local communities on how to make personal sacrifices in service of the collective good. So stay safe, shipmates. Americans depend on us for security, and we will not let them down.